there was a call. It started with a text from Ryan Reynolds. Oh, wow. And I saw a text, and it says, you know, I want to talk to you. And I was like, I hate this guy. No, this is a joke. We've been playing, we've been playing this for like two decades. We've actually liked each other the whole time. But anyway, he called and told me, he said, you know, I have this idea. And he told me what the idea was. And I was like, I don't know how the hell you're going to pull that off. I, it's very unlikely. And uh, I said, well, if you can make it happen, I'm sure. Hi, I'm Nat. And I'm Guy. And today we're talking Blade, Blade Part 4, and Will Wesley's nice to be in the movie, and maybe a little bit of Ryan Reynolds. Sure. <laughs> so, well, we seen Deadpool the other day, and surprisingly... Wesley Snipes was in there portraying Blade. Mm -hmm. And now uh, people are saying they want Wesley uh, to be in the new Blade movie. But they had already cast... Who did they cast for the Marshall new Marshala Ali. Mar How do you say his name? Mahershala Ali, I think. Hershala Ali. Mahershala. Mahershala Ali. He's got two Academy Awards, so he's actually a pretty good actor. Yeah. And I would say there are a lot of fake trailers out, of this, uh, out on this movie because they actually haven't started filming yet. And the trailers look good. I was actually tricked into thinking that was the real trailer. And, you know, I said, oh, I'll give this movie a chance. But after doing a little bit of research, I was just, I'm not very hopeful of this movie. I think they should put it in the garbage can and maybe bring Wesley back. I do have a couple criticisms about Wesley, though. But Well, Wesley's a bit older now, for sure. We saw it in the Deadpool movie. And well, how old do you think he is? 60s. He's 63. Yeah. And how do you think, how old do you think Herschel Ali is? 50s he's in his, he's 50 yeah. so even if you cast him uh he's gonna get old really quick and you have to recast him again so a younger black actor if you were gonna recast blade might have been better but yeah and i mean we're seeing marvel maybe attempting to move away and now that they've got all the basically all the repertoire of the marvel comics except some things with universal are still up in the air but i mean after they bought 20th century fox they can bring in a lot more characters i mean I'd be more willing to give them a chance if they were willing to make actual moves towards X-Men or bringing in more characters from like diverse backgrounds. But the doing the continuation or the doing just a new franchise of one singular character, I think might not work as well, especially if they're going to keep going with their little... Well, well the, the thing with Blade is the main yeah, actor yeah. is going to be a black actor and you, you had a lot of black supporting cast naturally. Mm -hmm. So you can hit all your DEI checkboxes without making it look like a DEI movie. So it has an opportunity to uh, give the fans what they want and to give the studio what they want in a very organic style way. But the problem would be that they wouldn't be hitting the woman box, which is apparently now the most important box that Marvel wants to oh. hit, even though... A lot of their, most of their fans, even the women, don't want to see women who are hyper powerful and just know everything. Well, you're mistaken. If this isn't the Wesley Stipes blade and it is the Herschel Ali blade, there have been leaks of the script that leaked. Mm -hmm. And it was supposed to be lit. Blade was actually going to be the fourth lead in the movie behind three female characters who were going to teach him life lessons. Now, so like every other Marvel movie that's come out that nobody watches. Which would be absolutely horrible. Mm -hmm. and Because we've uh, seen it a million times now. Nobody wants to see that. Not the women, not the men, nobody. Well, there, there was the second leaking of the script. And do you know what that was about? No. It was a uh, 1920s period piece of Blade, which yeah. also sounds like not something Blade fans probably want to watch. Mm -hmm. Now, they supposedly they have one of the main script writers who write, rewrites a lot of these superhero movies working on the blade currently as we speak. Mm. So I'm hoping he throws those two things in the trash. And with all this hype behind Wesley, like maybe give him a chance. He is older now. And I will say this, yeah. he did not look good in the Deadpool movie. He looks really skinny yeah, and scrawny. And part of his physicality was what really sold him on blade. The other thing that sold him on blade was his ability to deliver lines. He can deliver these corny lines. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I think the main line for the original Blade was uh, there's always some mother trying to icing it uphill. Mm -hmm. And I don't know any other actor that, that could have delivered that line. Mm -hmm. But um, with CGI and stuff and with so many people behind them, maybe you can do it, but that would really increase the budget of this movie. True. And I mean, they are trying to make Wolverine and Hugh Jackman stay huge for, as they say, 90 years. So they could 
do that. Or like what they could do is just mix the two ideas together and make an actually good movie, make him pass the torch to a man and make it an actually interesting movie. Even bringing in the 1920s thing could be interesting. I mean, they probably will want to do that because of the whole MCU, multiple universes, quantum well, idiocy, but... I gotta tell you, I have to ha hand it to Ryan Reynolds, and every time I hear a story in the media about Ryan Reynolds, I gain more and more respect to, to, to him. him. Well, especially when I research this Blade thing that happened... I guess in Blade Part 3 Trinity, which was a horrible Blade movie, and yeah, two, so Part 2 was horrible as well. Part 1 was amazing. And this is, when, this is when they made good Blade movies. But back to Part 3. If you don't know, in Part 3, we had Jessica Biel and Ryan Reynolds. And it really looked like they were maybe going to try to trans transfer the franchise to Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds and uh, Wesley Snipes did not get along on set. Uh, Wesley Snipes was in character at all times, and Ryan Reynolds was trying to crack jokes. And he would just give him the death stare. So um, I don't know if you know, after that movie was done filming in Vancouver, actually where we're from, Wesley sued the production company. Mm -hmm. He said that they were racist. They didn't pay him his full amount in his contract. They didn't pay him under tax-exempt status, which is another part of this story. Uh, and they cast people in the movie he didn't want. One of them, I'm thinking, was Ryan Reynolds himself. Yeah. So when Ryan actually called Wesley to do uh, the new Deadpool... Mm -hmm. Wesley said, I don't think that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And he was very skeptical. And Ryan said, well, if I can make it happen, would you be in it? And he said, I definitely I definitely would. And Ryan has that much pull mm -hmm. in Hollywood right now that he was able to make it happen. And it looks like they've really reconciled. And uh, it's really a heartwarming story to see the respect that um, Ryan, Ryan has been able to get from Wesley now, e even after all those years of disrespect. Nice. <laughs> I think mean, there's one heartwarming story coming out of Marvel. Yeah, well, I seen some interviews with Wesley doing the research as well, and he looks in good spirits now because I remember uh, quite a few years ago he was not doing so well. He had a lot of tax problems, mm -hmm. and if anybody doesn't know it, there's a influencer by the name of Robert Barnes. He's, well, a he's not an influencer. Well, he's a, he's a lawyer. He's a constitutional attorney and influencer, uh, and he, one of his first major cases uh, that had notoriety was actually him defending Wesley Snipes. And once in a while, he gives some tidbits of what happened in that case, and it's extremely interesting. What's the name of his channel? Uh, VivaBarnes.locals.com. Viva Barnes Locals. He watches him a lot. Viva Barnes. Viva Barnes.locals.com. I always get uh, stuttered when I say it. Yes. Okay. You got anything else about this Deadpool or no? Or <sighs> the Blade. new Blade? Uh, I mean, again, with what Marvel is planning for phase, I guess now would be six. We still have to wait and see because I don't trust them. Well, and I've never, I don't think I'll ever trust them again. Well, I will say this. the um, This Blade Part 4, was they announced it in 2019. Mm -hmm. Then there's pandemic things that came up. All kinds of people pulled the out strike. of the projects. The strike. But that's the height of wokeness. And so I think they were planning this movie to be an extremely woke movie mm -hmm. aimed at minority audiences. Well, they need to put those ideas uh, out of their head and really go with a strong masculine character, strong masculine lead, much yeah. like they did Deadpool. Because right now with what's happening with Deadpool and them bringing essentially every single other big white actor that they had as a superhero, there's, going, there's being a tiny backlash, but a backlash of people saying, oh, why does it always have to be like white men? They're the ones that cause Marvel to go to ruins, which is the complete opposite. But there is some fans that are upset that it's the white men coming. Well, it's back. not. It's not. It's not just white men. It's as not we, even fans. I don't as think it's we fans. said before, they were trying to make three female leads be in charge of Blade and Blade Part Four. Uh, that's absolutely well. Ridiculous. That would be so another th Indiana Jones, which is another Disney. So it's project. not just white men; it's black men as well. They got a problem the with men. Yeah, strong, I think it's strong men. men in general. Yeah, I think it's not men. trans men. So not all men. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think it, it is um, mainly a problem with men because it's been infiltrated by women. They decided to make almost every department head a woman. So, I mean, of course, they have to go ahead and make women impossibly lucky and good at everything, which is nobody cares about those stories. It's not good writing to so make let, infallible characters. Let's assume they did make the right decision. They went with a um, non-political movie, a strong uh, masculine lead for Blade. Mm -hmm. um, would you rather see Wesley or would you rather see Herschel Ali in it? The thing is, I don't like Herschel Ali because I don't like what he won the Oscar for. Um, but I don't know. Wesley would be interesting, I guess, but only if he can 
you know, take the mantle and do it justice or just somebody else. Well, I would love to see Wesley... Or them together, like I said, just have him teach the other guy. Well, I would... That's exactly what I was going to say. If anybody's seen Blade Part 1, Wesley had a mentor and a friend in that movie, um, which I think was Chris Chris, Chris Christopherson, who really nailed that role. But um, to transition Wesley into that role with Herschel Ali as the young Blade, kind of passing the mantle... That would be a phenomenal way because uh, Wesley himself has said it's a very physical role and mm-hmm. he's not extremely interested in uh, redoing it. Yeah. But I think something a little less physical that allows him to pass the mantle to a, a new young actor would be nice. True. And then they just have to get away from the multiple universes and just stop it. <laughs> or Because that's what they want to do now with Wolverine and Spider-Mans. They want to have two, three, four Spider-Mans yeah. and the... Uh, Time Variance Authority, the TVA coming well, in and switching everyone. So that's how they would do it, I think. But they're realizing that's that their new that's their new way to actually reverse all the mess that they did in Phase Four and Five of Marvel. It's like, oh no, we're gonna time jump or go to a different universe, and that's the nice one. Uh, that's how they're gonna no bring consequences. back Robert Downey Jr. and everybody else that they essentially threw all the men that they threw down the wayside that they're having to have come back yeah that's but how they're going to do it i think they're lo- they're realizing they're losing the money battle and it is actually starting to hurt disney's pockets because the, this deadpool thing it's going to be easily clear a billion dollars and it's mm-hmm. going one of the top movies of all times yeah. the problem with that is they need more money they need more movies that are money makers like that yeah. so they're hedg- hedging their bets if you didn't see what happened in the new deadpool comic book they're yeah. they've made deadpool a female now mm-hmm and this is the thing. I think they're going to start rewriting these comic books. So when they go look for content for the movies, eventually in a couple of years, it's going to be a bunch of woke nonsense. But they're going to be able to legitimize it by saying, oh, no, this is the, this is the actual this timeline. This is canon, yeah. But like a lot of this ideology has been happening in the comic books first. Because as any art-based industry, they got completely infected before we actually saw any... But there is one comic book that's not woke. Thing. Ripa? Ugh, no. <laughs> We're not going into that. We're not. Okay, for next time. Yes. Uh, also, speaking oh. of financials, the Disney earnings call is happening tomorrow, so we'll see how much they're gloating about Deadpool, but also how badly they're actually doing because their stock also crashed yesterday. So we'll have to wait till Wednesday to see how that earnings call goes and what well, Nelson Peltz might want to do, buy it, not buy it. Well, but with a crash in the stock, Nelson Peltz and Elon Musk might jump in on it. Hopefully, but I mean, I don't know. They're going to be too glo- too much gloaty. Like they're going to be gloating way too much about Deadpool and think that they're jo- right on the, my trade, pred- the best my, path. My prediction be. for and that... My prediction in the last two years is they're intentionally crashing the stock so I Apple, Apple can, can buy so it. Apple can buy Disney. But it might be Nelson Peltz and Elon now. Don't cut me off. The, the audience doesn't know. The audience doesn't know. It might be Nelson Peltz and Elon now, but Nelson seemed like he doesn't want to do it anymore. He seemed a little bit dejected from last time. So might be Apple. Might just them be them tagging themselves again. So we'll see. Anyway, let us know what you thought about um, who should star in the new Blade movie and should it be political? Should it be non-political? What should the storyline be based around? Or should there even be another Blade movie? Because why are they bringing be. back old characters non-stop? Okay. Bring new people. Well, until next time. See you soon. I'm Guy. That's Nat. Adios. <laughs>